making her way to the ring, see our Fire Pro Road Junior Heavyweight Champion, hailing from the Calderas of Luzaktu. She is the Blue Immortal, Akira Serula. Making her way to the ring from South Africa, representing New Ever Rising, one half of Sovereign Rip Tide, she is the Ace Goddess, Amanzi Hasawoti. The referee for this match, the Larry. All right, opening women's tournament here. Um, there was a whole lot of, hey, look, we want to be ranked one. We want that belt. So, you know, hey, taking the the top viable ones or at least the ones that felt like they earned it and put, them, put their names on that tournament bracket. They said, look, we want this. So, our opening match here, Akira Saruda, Amaji Kasawoti, and then the winner of this will face the winner of later on, which will be Vimesho Leru and Nayli Jili. And this is dangerous for Ms. Serula because being junior champion, tomorrow, tomorrow is CR Fire Pro Road's big event. And she's got to defend it, but it's going to be in another tournament because on there she's ranked four. Here she's ranked five, there she's ranked four. And that means, and she has suffered, you know, those three uh, defeats. So they're like, look, there's no way that you be way ranked one to get the, the title shot when all of us have gotten the win over her. So there's been arguments, discrepancies, and it's like, look, we'll just hold a tournament then. You know, and Sarula feels like it's slightly unfair, but she also understands and I mean it's, it's the thing a lot has come October has been a a, a, a month you know it, it really has man elbow to the back oh oh that arm is hurt up she is hurt up and I kid Sarula is uh look she's merciless she go ahead and finish her off And she got her. Can Amazi hold on? And she's doing it. Those all the shots beyond all belief. Look at that. She's even taking kicks to the arm. Ace Crusher block. Fujiwara nailed. You let more of a takedown. And now she got the top wrist lock on. And she surrendered. And your winner of the match is Akira Serula. Amandi is not going to be happy. Whew. We got more action. We got Matriarch in action. Let's roll. Making her way to the ring. Representing Hyalon. One half of Warriors of the Day. The Matriarch. Way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood, one half of Nadia Gote. She is the brain manger. Turquid. Your referee for this match, Willie Wilson. All right, here they go. Locking it up. Shoulder knocked down by Turquil. He popped, popped it right in the face with that. Elbow to the back. We haven't seen Matriarch in action in quite some time. Turquil, we've seen her in action uh, pretty regularly here on the show. Man, multiple shots to the head. Oh, popped it right in the face. 
And Matriarch, she's gonna work the European uppercut. And not Metro, but uh, Turquoise, she's a, she's a much larger woman in the Matriarch. But we've seen that we 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 all know the power of the Matriarch. She she is a handful. You know, you cannot underestimate her by any means. They just give me Maru. She's up. Okay, give me Maru's over there. And there goes Tiger Lee in Matriarch's corner. She's working that leg. Oh, a little petty kick right there. She missed that toe kick. And this right here, you know, mixed division. And who? You got uh, Lady going to have Hemlock non title match against VT Leia, the current Master 4 champion, ranked one in the mixed division. And so. This match is not necessarily do or die, um, because here's what it is. Let's say, let's say, whoever wins this, they'll be ranked four. Okay, but if Hemlock can defeat VT Leia, then whoever's number four is going to get pushed out. However, let's say Matriarch wins; she's ranked four. Turquoise ranked five. Okay. Hemlock win and certain people win uh, tournaments and whatnot and go on to title matches. Man, she just got her head stomped. But if they can do that, then you can get both of these ladies in the Master of Four uh, title picture. So, or title match. So, wow, you know, it's that's why that's why ladder rung and all these rankings are so important. You know, jockeying for position, you know, trying to win that match is is actually important. Oh, uh oh, watch out for! Oh, and she just got brained. She just got brained. Two and no, Tiger Lee is up on the apron now. I guess I guess just because it has deadly wrestling alliance in it, you know, they, they, did, they just got to be mean. And see the referee distracting. She's gonna stiffen up on them hits. She try to keep things professional. Main event. It's been a, it's been slightly over a year, but it's going to be. Oh wait a minute! One, two, and no. But it's going to be stalking fury against veracity. Veracity, formerly known as reality, as death and life, the dangerous queen bomb. Two and no, not yet. And they go give you Maru, get off the apron, man. Taser chops, broke her down, rolled her over. Now, see one, two, three, four, almost four. And she got her up, pyramid driver. One, two, no, she got her up again. So I'll call it the fisherman driver. Two, three, and she got it. Yeah, we're the match. It's the matriarch. And everything's going to be riding on Hemlock's win or loss and other factors throughout the show. So with that, we got another tournament match coming up. Let's roll. Making her way to the ring, contestant of submission excellence. From France, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood, one half of Bernard Dare Gautier. She is the graceful butterfly. V May Show, Leru! Making her way to the ring, from China. Representing the stories of anatomy, one half of Tuan Dui Ji Yao. Beautiful intellect, Lei Li Ji Li. The referee for this match, the Larry. Right. All right, we have it. You know, we haven't seen this matchup too often, and when we do, it's usually fireworks. But Demis Teller already locking in the butterfly lock already. Now, this match is not held under STST rules. It is not. Chop. 
this this right here is uh you know look it's it's fair games match right here you know it's you know the gloves are on they got to be strictly professional they've got to do things the right way you know they ain't trying to you know the intention is not to to rip a ligament or anything like that off you know, get the pinfalls for the submission. Do what you got to do to get what you got to get done. Nice dragon screw by G Lee. And it's been a while since we've seen Twan Dui T Jiao in action. We haven't seen them tag up. Uh, G Lee and Lily and Leon. We haven't seen them in a while. But G Lee, she's been primarily focused on singles and she's been climbing those ranks stomp to the back of the head there by the rude dragon screw they're going back and forth elbow to the arm right there multiple elbows nice heel hook and got kicked in her face for that though Man, nice takedown. She's she's working this figure four leg lock. She's going back to the well every single time. Ultimately, that can work against you. Mm, nice front kick right there. The, the quintessence of submission excellence is the moniker that she has. Uh, Vime Shaleru, that is, for winning that CV submission tournament. Oh, nice counters and oh, you got that heel hook. She's gonna look. Jeezy's gonna work the leg the whole time. You know she she's got a quite a few nasty submission holes. The figure four is a good one. That heel hook is another. One. Ooh, kick it right in the back of it. Well, the side of the head, but it was you know pretty pretty good aim on it. Some wrestlers throw that 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 kick or a high heel hook, and it don't even matter. They don't even look. Nice takedown. She's working that. She's working the ground game. But we make sure Larue is at home here. Double leg trip. And she's got her up. Figure four. Mm, stomp to the head. Oh, pop the right in the forehead. Oh. I like that inside step kick. And do we drag it through by G Lee? She's stalking LaRue. LaRue ain't backing up really, but she, you know, G Lee's like, I'm not giving up any ground. And she's working that arm. No surrender yet. Not yet. They got 20 minutes. Dragon screw. The winner of this will meet Akira Serula in the finals. Push whip and hip toss. Nice hip toss by LaRue. But she's in the corner now. Ooh, basement drop kick by G Lee. LaRue is going to want to get a good counter and try to get on the roll. But she's jockeying for that position. Tying up is the best thing she can do. She can right here. Oh, nope. Oh, that, that, that leg is hurt on that one. That leg is hurt and she sees it. Rolling knee bar. Man, Lerou slowed down. She has slowed down. Now I don't blame her. That, that leg is, is heavily beaten up. Gotta wonder how much she's got left in the gas tank on that one. Taken down to the mat again, rolls over, floats, got her pinned down, butterfly locked, and she's got her. And my phone making noises, but I killed it earlier. Elbow to the back of the neck, dropped her down, stomped to the back of the head, rolls over, goes for the pin, two, no. 
And GD, those little kicks, they mean a lot. They add up over time. You know, everyone wants to go for the big kick and think that's going to do everything. It's those little kicks. It's hard to defend against such speed, and they add up over time. So, you you know, you got to work the small things. Oh, that Patella driver, and she surrenders. Yeah, one of the matches. They leave. She leaves. And people don't last at that Patella driver. Man, we'll see her in the finals. We got some more action. Let's roll. Making her way to the ring. Hailing from the timeless boy. Representing reality. One half of Limbo. Eternal. Your personal reality. See you on the other side. Making her way to the ring. Representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood. One half of the Bludgeoneer. She is the nasty dragon. Kei Hasu. Referee for this match, Drew Woodward. Okay, here we go, everybody. Uh, these two right here, I don't know, I don't even know what to expect out of this. This is an extremely rare meeting. I can't, I, I really can't remember the last time they wrestled. I know they have, I know they have battled each other, but I just don't know when and or where. I know they've been in uh, tag team competition um, in the tag tournaments in the in the years past, but <clears throat> in terms of singles, I I don't I don't have a clue. A little kicks to the head. I, I know that it's, it's it is a little damage, but I would just say exceedingly annoying, probably angering. Keep doing it too. The dragon about like a body. I'll be honest with you. If I have to pick a side in this, I'm on Eternal. Just Kehasu has said and done things you just can't come back from. You just you just can't. Every time she get it out, she's a little kick to the head. I remember, I remember in the tag match uh, with Kaijin against the Bludgeoneers. I ain't gonna lie, I remember I wanted to bite her so bad. I was like, you put that foot out here again. But, you know, I ain't, uh, ain't want to get disqualified. I think instead I just, you know, got counted out. Man, nice with naughty backdrop there by Eternal. Let's go. Wow, bomb. Boston Crab combination. Oh, okay, give your motors out there. The other half of the Bludgeoneers. Body slam there. Falling fist drop. Oh, punches and kicks. Back and forth, they're going. Oh, poke to the head, but oh, and to the outside she goes. Okay, how's it going to just wait? Ooh, Schmidt style backbreaker. Standing shooting star. And there goes Gibby Maru just getting in the way. Being a bother. Beat you up to driver two. And look, your partner getting messed up in the ring. I, I would stop distracting the ref. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I know Eternal ain't really old and back on those moves. Queen Kong knee drop. One, two, three, and she got it. I guess that was the plan. Your winner of the match is K Hasu. Hey, Cliff, do something about it, ref. Come on. Did you see K Hasu? Okay, you just call that out in front of everybody. Okay, fine. Okay. Up next, we got Medito in action, so let's roll. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Representing Natural Born. One half of Natural Born Comedy. 
natural born master. His opponent, making her way to the ring, representing deadly wrestling alliance. One half of Los Conquistas Dolls, Merito! Your referee for this match, Van Perry. Fight. And they go locking it up. Arm ring already. Returning it, no, with, with shoulder thrust. Ooh, headbutt. Here we go, Sage out there as usual. Manager slash wrestler for Natural Born. Her tag partner is Empress. And she threw him out, and she's going down to the, the Wolves' corner. What is she? Oh, trying to distract. What in the world? Both of them got furniture they don't need. What in the world? Yeah, see? See, Sage, you just being dirty. I don't know why you're doing that. I'm just saying. You know, Halloween will be here soon, but then Thanksgiving, man, I will leave you out. We just have turkey without saying. We working that arm, Master is. Ooh, punch it right in the face. I was whipped by Master. Front suplex. Yes, I am pulling for Medito. I mean, come on now. Colleague, faction member, you know, that whole, you know, marriage thing. Manhattan drop. Hammer throw. She goes in. Oh, nope. He's out the corner. She put him back. Nope. He reverses. He's like, you get in there. No. Suplex to the outside. Master is frustrated. He got right up. Oh, little cat and mouse game. She, what's up with the furniture? Well, that's the other half of the table. Manhattan drop. And who's using these little tables? If we had catering, I'd, I'd, I'd make a comparison, but we do not have that. Ooh. Now look, you hungry, better take yourself down to the bar and get something. I'm just saying. Ooh. Put it right in the corner. Man, super dragon screw. Elbow to that knee. They getting out of Masters game and more into Medito's game right now. Taser chops win. Elbow drops it. She's working that leg. Working it. The master with that epic power game. She's she's trying to stay away from it. But you know, here's the thing about natural born. I say it often. Natural born, they 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 wrestle. Yeah, they're powerful. But they wrestle. Uh oh. One, two, See, quit playing, Sage. Three, quit playing. Three, quit yeah. playing. Yeah, Medito got in the ring. Had to get away from that. Elbow to the back. Man, nice backdrop. A little piece of something caught that chair. Stomping on that forehead, wearing it out. Oh! Just keep popping her. That's stunned. Oh, kick to the back of the head. Push him to the corner. She's got him up. Tria Woe. Oh, chopped her right on the kneecap. Diving moonsault. And look. This is, no, she's wearing the crimson mask. And oh, Manhattan dropped by Master. And he's calling for the Lariat. The, man, the, the back of the neck. Man. Hit him with that Lariat. That Western Lariat. Bloodying up the ring. Two. And no, she just kicks out. She's been holding on to rank two for a while. Shining wizard. And she goes for the cover. No, nah, Sage. No. Nah. And kick out on two. You're not even needed. Head hell, Western Larry. Man, she's still to the outside. Man, he put some stank on that. 
Toe kick, and he drops. Lucha lock. Can he hold out? He, he, he's getting him to the rope. He breaks free. Michinoku driver two. One. Two. No. And here comes Miku. She done had enough of save. She's going to try to even things out. And the shoulder thrust by him. And oh man, Master just warding off the double team. He's like, nah, the help ain't going to be too much help. Juju Katame applied and broken up. I, maybe just in time. Oh, man, he is he is being a boss today. STF. Master is, is showing up. Oh, good grief. Kumu got that hammer lock on. Standing switch. Elbow to the back of her head. Gets rid of him. Got a hold of Merito. Put it down somewhere near his corner. Smart thing to do. Getting man, Nikumu is not being much help. We are not looking like a unit right now. We are not looking like a unit. This is not cool. And the referee is ejecting her to the top of Merito go. Diving, flashing elbow. What? That, what? That, that ref. Ah. Mitchell Goo Drama 2. And Sage is staring. Just staring on. Manhattan drop. And he's calling for the Lariat. She says he's got this. Big time Lariat drags her away. This is a fiasco. One, two. And she kicks out. She kicks out. Toe kick. Shining Wizard. She makes the cover. Two. Oh, and he kicks out. And both of them thinking, damn, what's it going to take to put him down? Manhattan drop. Belly to belly. Hooks that leg. A deep cover. Got the shoulders down. And no, she kicks out. Irish whip. Off those ropes. Nice face crusher. Guard position. Kimura applied. Come on. Stop this save. Taser chop. Elbow. Back and forth they go. Back and forth. Hooks that leg. One. Two saves. Can only watch. Three. And the winner of the match is Merito. She has earned to keep that rank too. She'll be going, she'll be vying for Equinol next week at the big event. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We got the women's tournament finals coming up next. Let's roll. This is your women's tournament final. Making her way to the ring. CR Fire Pro Road Junior Heavyweight Champion. Hailing from the Calderas of New Zoc 2. She's the Blue Immortal. Akira Serula. And her opponent. From China. Representing destroyers of anatomy, one half of Quan Du Tijiao, beautiful intellect, Mei Li Ji Li. Your referee for this match, the Larry. All right, here we go. And, and, and look, Geely, she had a quite a brutal match earlier. Cerula, not so much. But they've had quite a reprieve. They've had quite a reprieve. Um, so hey, you know, that may, maybe it's uh, even. Maybe it's even. I know Geely is heavy on cardio, so that that. Maybe there's a good balance that doesn't happen. I don't know. Only they know how much they hurt or don't hurt. You know, even though barely anything happened to Cerula in her match against uh, Kazuoti, that don't mean what Kazuoti did didn't hurt a lot. It might not, you know, it, it, it may or may not be lingering. We don't know. Only only Akira Cerula knows, or, you know, junior champion knows. Oh, that vertical arm bar. 
You be going to the ground game. It might be Serena's weakness. I don't necessarily recall her doing anything like this. So that could be her Achilles heel right there. And she's reaching. Dragon screw leg whip. Well, no, just dragon screw. My bad. She takes it down in the corner, but damage is damage. She can get this. Yep, figure four. So she got it. Yep, dragon screw. Ooh, kicking her right in the arm. And she's kicking her in the leg. Oh, good grief. Caught her in the arm and caught her in the head. Leaping stomp. Go back down and leap again. Those little kicks. They add up. Oh, anticipation right there. She's like, go for that kick. And she got it. Arm ringer. Nope. Drop toe hold counter. Injury dragon screw. Jimmy is in control right now. Mount. Oh, nope. Rolled over. Oh, she rolls it, rolls it back. Oh, they, they jockey for position. Jockey for position. Jimmy got it. Figure four. Figure four. Jimmy is like, look, I got this in the bag. You know, I took your rank here, I took your rank on the road. Julie was the main uh, partition for getting this tournament for the road anyway. She was she was the first one. Like, look, I beat her, took her rank on two occasions in one match. I should be up there. Junior Power Champion felt the same way. Julie Wade is just annoying. <laughs> oh, nice, nice fall back kick. Shoulder arm breaker. Working that arm, hammer lock. Then she switches up the arm. Yanking on it, wrenching, deep wrenches. Oh, yeah, she had to get her off of there because she, she was going to take that shoulder home. Working that rotator cuff. Oh, that nice sweep kick right there. That's a good distance attack. You don't want to lock up. Throw out a sweep kick. Oh, good grief. That, that arm's got to be ailing after that. Man, the kick to the arm. And then she runs around and kicks it again. Man, kick the other arm. She's making sure she's hurting, hurting, hurting her all over. From shoulder to wrist, she ain't going to be able to deal with it. And she got her up. Figure four. These two are battling. These two are battling. I killed her. She really got stuff to do. Oh, tire back. They in the ropes though. She got her down. Nope, rolled over. But oh, they're gonna they're gonna fight for this. No, no, they're not. Figure four. Can she can she hold out? Yes, she can. That leg is hurting. And GB has not seen that. If she did, she she would yeah, she would have went after that if she knew. If she saw that, she would have went after it. I can, I can promise you that patella driver would have been on point. She did not see her rolling on that mat. She she probably heard something. Probably thought she was going to get stomped on. Juju Katame. And G Lee is holding out. Yeah, she gets out. Both of these ladies are performing their skill to the letter. It's just all about who wants it more. And kicked her right in the face. Oh, Fujiwara. Man, she got that on, but... 10 minutes already. Halfway through this match. And it's the final. If Vivi wins, she'll be going after Hair Queen. Whoever wins, honestly, right now, because Akira Saruga could get ranked one and go into the big event next week. You know, in... I mean, right now, it's, it's, this, this is what you call something on the line. This is stuff on the line. Oh, sleeper choke. GB pulling out the sleeper choke. Elbow to the back by the junior road champion. Fujiwara putting that leg out to keep away from the rope. Can GB hold out? Yes, she can. Them arms look shot. They look a shot. Oh, kick to the leg, rolls her over. She's hoping she can damage that leg enough that she can't kick out. And oh no, she kicked out with authority. And she got a dragon screw leg whip. She says she's feeling it now. 
She's got to stretch muffler. Can she hold out? No, she can't. Your winner of the match is May Lee G Lee. Congratulations. You'll be seeing her going against Hair Queen for the women's championship. So, hey, congratulations. You did good. You did good. To the victor goes the spoil. As you can see, she had to go through Vimesho Leru, which wasn't easy, and then the the defeater of Amanzi Kasawote in quick fashion, though. But Akira Sarula, Sarula as you saw there. So congratulations, Meili Zili, making his way to the ring. Representing Jail Without Order, one half of JWO Lock. He is the co leader. Him Lock. opponent making her way to the ring see our fire pro master of four champions representing Jamie Wrestling Alliance and one half of KT Layer DT Layer the referee for this match Mr. Senior Junior all right, here we go. Non-title matchup. Oh, she's starting off. With okay, he, he he got his family out there. That's Hurt Lock up there with the, I guess, the bandana on, do-rag, oh, comments out there, as well as Techie. So, they're, they're, okay. KT Lair's out there, and the, the other half of Body Hackers is out there. Mm, nice body blow. Nice elbow to the face. Oh, so that's why he chopped it right in the forehead. Height makes a difference the way you strike. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be laughing. It, it, but a chop to the forehead is funny to me. Nice body blow rush right there. This is a 20 minute time limit match, everybody. Oh, stomp to the shoulder, stomp to the forearm. And to the wrist right there, maybe even a little bit of the hand. All those ropes after the Irish whip, kitchen sink, D block out there. Hurt lock throwing in furniture. Not no DQ, so they're not gonna use it. They gotta get their own. Irish whip by him lock, drop toe hole. Now we've seen him submit quite a few people with that severe twisting wrist lock he's got. To the corner, she chased, she gets in. Stalling, vertical suplex, or suple. Shoulder arm breaker, make it two, three, four, five, by him lock. Stomp to the shoulder. We got uh, what some call shit on me on that seated arm bar. And her arms are ailing already. Leapfrog off those ropes, collide, neither fall. Hammer throw. Oh, kicking right back into the corner. She rushes in. Flat back drop kick. He had to absorb all of that. Every last bit of that. Inside cradle, but they in the ropes. She's chasing him. Oh, he popping. She just she just said, no. Nah. Try to get hit in the face. Look, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, okay? Look, I'm gonna give y'all a little bit. I'm gonna I'm clown her in the back later on after the show. I mean, you got chopped in the forehead. That's just funny. Ooh, double foot stomp. Go for the pin. Two? No. Just one in like a quarter, maybe? Hammer throw, reversal. She's in the corner now. He got her in there. Punch in the face. Two, three, four. Watch her fall out. Seated on bar. Her arms are shot. They are shot. Elbow. 
puts you right in the corner, and Hemlock, he's wanting revenge. He wants to get, he wants to make sure he gets in there. He wants it. Oh, Rolling Death Cradle? Or at least Rolling Cradle. But it stop. Only she knows. And then the ropes. He pulls her out. Oh, he got the Kimura on. Give up. No. No no surrender on that one. Shoulder arm breaker. Man, she tried to get away. She got him. Nope. Suplex to the outside, I'm sure. Right to the lion's den and, and let it go. They swarming. They swarming. She gonna need some help, y'all. She gonna need... Don't be calling the ref, Techie. If you get over there. Get, we are not looking like a unit tonight. They are just... Y'all get over there and help her. Oh, now, now you're gonna get her off the apron after you just saw them ganging up on, on my girl out there. That's right. Back turn and she's gonna take a shortcut too. Oh, he popped her right in the face and she poked him in the eye. She's trying to stay away from that them grap right there, them grabs. Because he will submit her. Oh, suplex to the outside. Who are those people there? And he got a bat. Y'all are DQing for just having it. Brain buster. Dolphin clutch. Come on, ref. She been pinned him for a week. It's always like this. We always got an uphill battle. Man, nice chaos theory. Two, three, four. Just to see you, Junior. You see the dog bar? She surrenders. And I wonder why. Congratulations. Winner of the match, Tim Lock. Them jack weeds. We got to be a unit, y'all. We got to be a unit. We're going to get to the main event, all right? Stalking Fury versus Veracity. It's been a year. Let's roll. This is your main event of the evening, making their way to the ring. Representing Claws of Fury, Stalking Fury. First, Plush and her partner from China, Daylight. Their opponents making their way to the ring, representing reality. They are the overseers of your living duration, life, and death. Veracity. The referee for this match, Chuck Goose. All right, here we go, and they, they, they are not gonna take it easy. The road, TV for a year, the keeping reality and Claws of Fury apart because mainly Plush can't handle it. And it got to the point where I'm like, look, you're looking like the antagonist, you can chill. And it was part of the agreement anyway. So they won, reality couldn't wrestle. And, and, and they had to miss out on uh, Typhoon's End last year. And I was like, no more. The only way you are going to battle each other is if it's a high, the highest rank on the line next to being champion or for a title. Other than that, no. But right now, you see, Stalking Fury, rank three. Veracity, rank one. The champions are rank two. That's royalty. That's lineage and the imperial. So that's why they are meeting. It could have been others, but they were in singles matches, or they got matches on the road, or they were just too beat up to be there. So this is what it come down to. And I told him, I told Plush, I told Daylight, I get it, but, you know, 
be professional or don't or y'all gonna be suspended for a while without pay you ain't going to the roads you're not going to you know uh pain and agony wrestling or none of that mm -mm. i was like y'all got to go out there y'all battle fight hard if you want but y'all ain't gonna be doing all the, the back teeth biting and stuff like that that y'all was doing before like they beat they've been Verati has been winning with skill and some it seems like underhandedness that I just can't prove but y'all got to go out there and beat them at their own game wrestle them like you would anybody else Crush was heavily against it they like was like fine this is all because this started um just about a year and a half ago yeah about a year and a half ago when queens of the jungle were uh able to become tag team champions here on tv but reality put a hit out on them oh the rev is down the c c i see i see what y'all doing taking liberties taking liberties i ain't fully against it i'm just saying i see what you're doing but they put a hit out. Ecuador took out Tigress of Queens of the Jungle, making them incapable of defending the TV titles. So the TV tag titles. Plush has held a mean, nasty, deep-seated grudge on that. All right. So she ain't letting go. And she saw that coming. Smith out backbreaker. She needs to cut off death from that. Yep. Nope. Death got her. Nope. Backdrop counter. Sunset flip. She called it. Or rolling senton. Far different than a rolling thunder. Double backdrop. And now they've got the ring cut off. Working the legs. You got to work the legs of plush. Because she will certainly use them to leap off the top rope with that epic high angle frog splash. Gnosuke clutch. Yeah, she's not legal. I forgot, I forgot who's legal for a second. Okay. Daylight and life. Multiple body blows. Overhead elbow. Double under hook. Wow, driver. Long side of town, but damage is damage. But he is paying for it. Death is making sure he's paying for it. And life with those headbutts. I'm not, I ain't gonna lie, high kick headbutt's kind of ballerina like. Oh, jumping headbutt from behind. Combination reverse crab. Oh, he preempt. Man, he saw that kick coming. It just preemptive headbutt on him. And she's getting in the way. Ron Hay. No, Yoshitani. Smith style backbreaker. They're like trying to evade life and does a great job of it. Man, double easy giddy. STF applied. Just working that noodle, stretching that knee. Putting, you know, and all that weight on him, making his ab abdomen incapable of, of taking in air. Ooh, man, cradle power driver. Life to interfere. No, he didn't, he didn't get there in time. Plus got death up. Saves daylight. Man, she was about to leap. She was about to leap. Yeah, I don't think she was going to make it, though. That was far. Elbow. She got him in the... Yep. Dragon Ronda right there. Or Dragon... The metal special, I mean. Ooh, she missed out. Backbreaker. Got him down. Headbutt. Headbutt. Trying to, trying to beat life at his own game. Trick me by death. Trusting death is just foolhardy, you know. Man, elbow to the back of the head. Just working him. This match is back and forth, everybody. It is back and forth. The roster is in control. Got that headlock on daylight. And they just brawling, fighting. Reverse crab right there on daylight from death. A little goodbye submission hold. 
they like got to keep life in his corner to the top he go diving massive body press rolls him over press needs to get in that ring two three and he got it yo where's the match and rank one is stalking fury congratulations here y'all go I'll let y'all say what y'all say. All right, that, now that 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 was a main event. That that was worth the wait for me. That was worth the wait. And it, it's, I don't think this, this will never be over. I, I can just tell you that right now. Look, everybody, I'm gonna get on up out of here. But make sure you tune in tomorrow, Tuesday, for the Rhodes Big Event. All right, the Rhodes Big Event. These matches are not in order, but these are the matches that are featured, okay? It's going to be a junior tournament, and the winner will be crowned the CR Fire Pro Road Junior Heavyweight Champion. The participants will be Yuli Wade, Junior Power Champion, Meili Jili, Akira Sarula. Sarula is the current road champion. Heavyweight Championship, Tree of Mass will defend against Baudon. We've also got Grudge Match, Daily Wrestling Alliance, the teams of Face Breakers, and Team D DWA. That's Sluganon, Big Planet, Muto Turka, me, and Kyogen. I'll be in the match. I will not be doing commentary because I will be in the match. So from now on, when I'm in the match, no commentary. That's just how this is going to go. We will be battling Retribution, Unabridged, and Malfeasance. The Unabridged, Ecuador Obro, Ralph and Bordomata, and Malfeasance, Cheat King, and his brother Savage King. We will be facing them. And from my understanding, it's going to be an elimination match, tag team championship match. The formidable of the Lair versus the Lair's Cold. So you've got the tag champions, the Death Panda, and Tree of Mass. Tree of Mass, also a heavyweight champion, will be, be defending against one of the most epic tag teams in Cold, Ice and sickle so that's the lineup for tomorrow this has been real so y'all take it easy this has been Cedric for CR Wrestling CR Wrestling Commentary CR Fire Pro CR Fire Pro Road Painting Agony Wrestling all that good stuff down there in the description y'all check them out keep the EFA communities alive alright with that said good night and see you tomorrow on the road